Hello, guys. Welcome back to Maison African Motives. Uh, still on uh, engineering science, anyone? Uh, in this platform, we shall be working with uh, statics from the question paper, which was written in Feb 2022. Uh, so we are not going to waste much time quickly rushing through. We have got question 6.1, uh, whereby we are given that uh, both notation is a method used to number the sides of a triangle of forces in equilibrium. So you number uh, using what? Both notation. So now we are given to apply both notation to three to the three forces in Fig one above that is in equilibrium. Int use the notation, the both notation anti clockwise. Okay. So take note, we have got our main forces here for three forces which are being separated 64. So you can just take our space diagram in this case, which is going to be this way. Uh, we've got three forces from a point. We have got a force this way, so this is 6.1. Uh, so that is when we've got our 40 Newton here, and uh, we've got uh, 60 and 45. So you just separate, guys, on this diagram, uh, there is no much. So you just separate with the angles that you're given. So this is your 60 Newton, and this is our 45 Newton in this case, okay? So naming the sides is A, B, and C. So we're given to take this in an anti-clockwise, all right? So from the force of 60 Newton in this direction, okay? Uh, if we are to check, we are going to have our force of 60 Newton. So you take this accurately with uh, the angles that you're given. So we're going to represent the 60 Newton, all right? So, okay, that's our, okay. So that's our 60 Newton. So guys, you are supposed to use a ruler, but here I'm just showing you a sketch, okay? So our A is being taken in this case, we are now uh, from uh, the 60 Newton, which is our C in this case, all right. So if you are to connect the C, okay, if you are to connect from C here, we are supposed to connect 45 Newton, all right. So connecting 45 Newton, we are going to have somewhere this way, we are connecting 45 Newton now, all right. Then after 45 Newton, we connect the 40 Newton, all right? So if you connect this 40 Newton, we are going to have a complete diagram now this way. So that's where we have our 40 Newton, all right? So this is where we have got our A, our B at this point, and our C at this point. So both notation, guys, is just given uh, to formulate the triangle of forces like that, okay? So you are supposed to use the proper angles the ones that you're given. So in this case, guys, it's because of this issue of protractor, this and that. But if we can have the time that we can actually measure these ones, we can work on that one on a separate video. But for now, I think uh, you can just uh, grasp something from this idea. Try to work it out. If not, if it is not working, then please let us know in the comment section so that we can uh, redo uh, these questions using other examples so that we can properly the question is it is okay 6.2 we are given that there is a lever system on fig 2 below is used to lift a rock with a mass of 250 pages the rock must the rock moves through a distance of 30 centimeters uh where the effort uh, when the effort of 600 newton is applied over a distance of 1.5 meters all right so the question is uh from this part 6.21, calculate the mechanical advantage of the lever system. All right, so take note, we are supposed to have uh, the 6.21. Uh, we've got mechanical advantage, which we can take as load over, over effort. So in this case, we are given the effort, which is 600 Newton, but the load we are not given. But we have the mass that is our advantage. We've got the mass here, so you can calculate the load because this is force. Uh, this is force, which is equivalent to mass times what the gravitational acceleration. So that means our our mechanical advantage can be written as mg over effort, whereby mg is the weight for the load that is mass times gravitational acceleration. So we've got 250 multiplied to 9,8 over the effort which is 600 in this case. Okay, so please guys, make sure that you're going to use 
your calculator uh, properly in this case. So if you are to, to divide by 600 everything, you obtain something like 4,8, uh, 4,0833333 and so on and so on, which is 4,0833. All right, so that is your mechanical uh, advantage in this case. 6.22, calculate the velocity ratio of what of the lever system. So remember that for the uh, velocity ratio, we can work with the distance which is being applied. Here we're given the distances 1,5 meters and 30 centimeters, uh, the distance on the effort and the distance from what from the load. So this can be... Uh, for the velocity ratio. So velocity ratio, 6.22, we can take our velocity ratio from L over L. So take note that in this case, the length that we have, which is the applied, this distance is 1,5 meters. So that is 1,5 over the length that is we are given the distance through is 30 centimeters. So converting this to meters, we are going to divide by 100 since one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So if you divide by 100, you are going to obtain 0, 0,3, all right? So that is going to give us a five. So our velocity ratio is five or five S2, five S2, one, all right? So that's what we had uh, for this question. On question 6.3, fig below shows a lever uh, that hangs a at point A, so a given a lever that yings at point A here, determine the unknown force F. Okay, if the system is in what is in equilibrium. Okay, so what can we do? Uh, we can actually take uh, taking note at our F in this case. This is where we have our F, and this is where we have our one twenty. Okay, so we can work with the moments in this case for in order for us to calculate the unknown force. Remember, uh, re remembering that the, the sum of the clockwise moments is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. All right. So if we are to work with the clockwise moments in this case, we are referring to the moments back to the point A. All right. We are referring back to the point of what? To the point of A. This is your reference point. All right. So which part is moving in the clock? Remember, this is your clockwise. So the clockwise direction is for F, a check note where F, F is pointing up. So back to A, it is going to move this way, which is clockwise. 120 back to A here, it is going to move in an anti-clockwise. It is opposing, so that's anti-clockwise. So for the clockwise, remember that moment, it's force times distance. So here from F back to A, we have to add 2,4 and 0, 0,6, which is going to be three meters. So in between here, we have got what? We have got three meters from F to A. So that is going to be F times three, which is equal to the anti-clockwise. Remember we said we've got 120 back to A, which is 120 times 0, 0,6. So that's 120 times 0, 0,6. All right, so three times F, that's three F is equal to 120 uh, times six. All right, so 120 times 0, 0,6, sorry, which is going to give us 72. So divide by three, divide by three, our F is going to be 24. So this is going to be 24 Newton in this case. All right, so that was the uh, required uh, force, which is the unknown force uh, for this to be in equilibrium, all right? 6.4, we are now given a consideration that a force of 320 Newton is applied to the end of a spanner. The length of the spanner being 280 millimeters, calculate the torque exerted to tighten. Okay, so remember that torque is equivalent to force times distance. So the force is in Newton, the distance is in meters so that we can have this in what? In Newton meters. So we are supposed to convert the, the distance of 280 millimeters Remember, milli means times 10 to the exponent of negative three. So if you multiply by 10 to the exponent of negative three, our distance is going to be 0, 0,28, all right? So that means our torque in this case is going to be force 320 times the distance of 0, 0,28, all right? So multiplying this, we are going to obtain 89 comma six Newton meter. All right, so that is the talking. 
that you needed uh, from the question. So guys, this was uh, an application of the formula. All right, on 6.5, we are now given fig law shows. Okay, let me try to just so that I can see properly the question. Okay, below shows three forces in equilibrium. All right, so from these three forces that we have, uh, the question is determine the magnitude of the two unknown forces A and B by means of triangle forces method. All right. So take note, guys, this is what is going to happen. I'm just going to give you a sketch. Then from there, you, you must do everything accurately. All right. Uh, if we are to check, we've got a mass here, which is uh, 120 Newton, which is going to give us the weight in this case. All right. So we can actually have our weight from Mg. That is 120 times 9,8. So this is going to be 1176 uh, Newton in this case. All right. So these forces that we have, remember, we have got a force that is taken, okay, this is a weight which is going down. So you're supposed to have something of this nature, all right. Then we have got a force of 30, which is B, or which is connected at what? At 30 degrees. So if we are to connect this force here, it is supposed to be taken at 30 degrees, okay, from this point. We are supposed to take this at what? At 30 degrees. But we do not know exactly the magnitude of this. We are going to leave it like that. We know that this is 1176, but we do not know the equivalent for this one. All right, we leave it like that. We know that from this, from this point here, all right, from this point, it's 60 degrees. So if we are to connect this force at B here, it must be connected at 60 degrees. So this can help us to know, okay, Let's say we're supposed to connect that force at B at this point like this, being connected at 60 degrees to formulate a triangle like this one. That means we can know the angle at this point and also the angle at this point. All right. Remember at this point, we know because this is supposed to be 90 degrees. So if we are to subtract 90 minus 30, that means we are supposed to obtain uh, a 60 degrees in this case, from, uh, from this point here, it's going to be 60 degrees. All right. So that means we have got 60, we have got 60. So the angle at this point is supposed to refer back at what? At 60 degrees. All right. No, 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 no. This can't be 60. This cannot be 60, guys. All right. Let's check back again. All right. Let me try to do this. because This cannot be 60 at this point. All right. So I want you to, I want us to check back at uh, this 30 that we had, all right? So it's going to be like this here. So if we are to have this, uh, okay, let's take it this way. All right, the angle here that we have of 30 is the same as the angle that we are going to have because we're supposed to have the alternate angles like this. So if this is 30, this is 30. So we are going to have an angle of 30 degrees there. All right, so what is it that was going to help us to have a complete diagram? You choose a suitable scale of your choice. So you can choose uh, to just say, maybe one centimeter represents 100 uh, Newtons. So if you have got uh, uh, 111 like this, if you divide by 100, it can be something like 11,76 centimeter. So you choose a proper scale. So after the diagram, if you were to measure now the forces that is from this point to this point, all right, this was going to be something like uh, 5,99 centimeters, all right, 5,90 centimeters, which is 5,9 centimeters. So for you to convert back to Newton, you get back to the scale. One centimeter is representing 100 Newton. So you multiply by 100, which is going to be 590 Newton. So this one is going to be 590 Newton. Uh, and for this one, if you measure properly, you were going to obtain 10,2 uh, centimeters. So if you multiply by 100, this is going to be 1,020 Newton in this case. Okay, so please uh, do this accurately with the, with the given angles and also you applying the proper scale. So uh, it's very, very difficult for me to have it with a proper scale. So that is why I'm just giving you a sketch 
of what it was supposed to be like. But as you are measuring, you measure properly everything. All right. So that is what we had, guys, from this person uh, from Amazon African Motives. Till we meet again.